breaking ball. Yelich, center field deep. Back goes Dyson at the wall, and he got it! What a catch! Gerard Dyson. My goodness. MLB The Show has baseball on tap from lovely City Field in New York. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the Oakland A's and the New York Mets. It's interleague baseball next on the show. Steven Matz, a left-hander from New York State, is the starter on the mound. What do you have for us on him, H? Well, Matt, he's had good success against left-handed hitters, hitting under 250 against him. When you're having that kind of success against the left-handers, you're going to be in a lot of games. So striding in, Rajay Davis. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Looking at a tough pitch called a strike. And not a bad night for baseball and even 70 degrees here at game time. To two balls and two strikes now. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. And this is fouled at the plate. Now another 2-2. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Bruce. He's got it one away. And here's a shot of the athletic starting lineup for this one. Danny, any thoughts? Well, Matt, in talking to the coaches, I think they're a little worried about the production they're getting out of the five hole. He had only two home runs last month, which is uh, not good for a guy that hits in the middle of the order. They're going to need a lot more production, a lot more power from him moving forward. They expect it, and so do I. So now it's Mark Hanna comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Hard hit at third. In time to first, and there are two away. Third, the left fielder, number two. Here's Chris Davis now. Davis. Power is a big part of his game, of course, entering the contest fifth in the American League home run race. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. High in the air out to center field. Granderson is under it. And that retires the side. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Chris Bassett, a righty from the state of Ohio, will do the pitching in this one. HR, what's the word on him? Well, it hasn't been a great year for him so far. I mean, he's had some ups and some downs. He's had some decent games, some poor games. An ERA in the fourth. That tells me the story of his season has been inconsistency. Now batting, Curtis Granderson. As we take a look there at the difference in his numbers between June and July. Here it comes on one and one. Slider right over the middle taken for a strike. Oh, that was a good looking slider to hit. It kind of hung him one. When you got a slider right there and it's spinning towards you, that's the one you, you annihilate. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Ranging back is Davis. Gone to lead off the inning. Solo home run for Curtis Granderson. Number 23 for him thus far. And the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing.
Well, how do you beat the shift? You hit it over the shift, of course. You can't play guys up in the sky, so he lifts this one up and out of here. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera, currently third on the team in stolen bases, so we'll see if he gets an opportunity to do any running in this one. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. One and two, here it comes. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. After it is Smolinski, one down. Time now to take a look at Terry Collins' Mets starting lineup in this one. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? You know, Neil Walker is a guy that's looking to turn things around right now. In the last 10 games, he's hitting under 250. He's a guy they need to hit a lot better than that because he's a big part of this ball club. Stepping into the box, Joannis Cespedes. He enters this one second in the National League round trip category. Bases are empty, one man out. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And Harold is Oakland Ball Club entering play here tonight. They've been in a nice little groove, winning three of their last four games. Well, Matt, it's always nice to win the first game on the road and, and then you get ready for game two. It just makes you feel like, hey, this could be a pretty productive road trip. If you win two games in a row, then you're really knowing we got a chance to have a great trip. Cespedes takes ball four there and he'll head down to first. And don't forget, he gave up a long ball earlier in this inning, so you can understand why he wasn't too aggressive with him there. When he got him to three and one, he wasn't too anxious to challenge him. So stepping in, Jay Bruce, currently with the third best home run total on the ball club. Ready with the one and one. There's that little sinker right over the outside corner. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And there's a swing and a miss by Bruce as he sat down on strikes two away. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Into the box, Neil Walker. Walker lays off there. It's two balls and a strike. Boy, that's a great breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch to lay off when that ball's coming in at that plane right there. Quality take. In there, two and two. Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Runners off for second. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Another 2 2 offering. Runner going a second time. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Mets draw first blood thanks to this solo home run. We'll head to the top of the second, and the Mets have an early 1-0 lead. Coming to the plate now, Marcus Semyon. The average for him entering play sits down in the 250s. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Line to the right side. But he will come on strong out there and right and pull this one down for the first down. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. In this day and age with analytics and the shift applied all over the field, this team is old school. They may be a dinosaur. They don't shift as much as everybody else. They play that station standard baseball. Here's Trevor Plouffe standing in. 
And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Curveball that time, not even close. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight. They come into this one looking to make amends for a loss last time out that put an end to a seven game winning streak. Well, Matt, they're playing good ball. If you look at the standings, they got a nice, comfortable lead, but comfortable can be, it can be trouble. You got to stay focused, keep your foot on the pedal, and just continue to put that opponent away because this little lead can run a quick. So striding Adam forward now, Rosales. Adam Rosales. Lifetime numbers against Steven Matz. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. And a breaking ball freezes him. Strike three called, and the side is retired. A's are gone in order. They trail this one, one to nothing. Here's Lucas Duda now. He brings an average in the 260s into this one. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Lined but speared on a hop. And he's retired one away. Now let's take a look at the A's defensively brought to you by the Jets. And I'm looking at Rajay Davis out there in the outfield. He's played center, played left, played some right. I just love his infectious smile. And you know what? He can run up him and climb a wall with the best of them. Sometimes he looks like Spider-Man. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. We're in the second, 1-0 Mets early on. Hit back up the middle. Taken in by Simeon. Throw to first is in time to take care of right, and that's the second out. Cutting eight. Patrick. Into the box now. Travis, Travis Darno. Oh, no. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Here's the one and one pitch. A little bouncer that winds up foul for the second strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that one stayed too low apparently. Here's the pitch on two and two. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball and that's how the inning comes to an end. Down in order go the Mets. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. Stepping into the box, Josh Fegley. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Smoke toward the hole. Duda's up with it. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games one this season. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. At the plate, Jake Smolinski. The average for him entering play, not far north of 200. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Swing and a soft liner. And they will not get him at first as he's able to leg out the throw. Infield single, as innocent as it may sound, that might be a rally starter right there. That's it. Into the box now, Chris Bassett wanting to avoid the double play here as he gets this one down. 
to Cabrera for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. Mets out in front, one to nothing. Into the box now, Stephen Matz, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Here's the one and one delivery. A fastball that just misses inside. Looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two. Little chopper back to the mound. A quick out number one. Center fielder, number three. So with one gone, a reminder that New York Mets baseball continues all season long here on MLB The Show. As you take a look there at where the three of us will be in the week ahead. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And standing in now is the dangerous center fielder, Curtis Granderson. And that's over three and one. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Tough slider over the inside corner for a strike. He had some really good late action on that slider right there. It's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. And this is going to be a foul ball. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Another one sent foul. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. Another payoff pitch. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Hey, when a guy homers a off you early in the game, 13. the last thing you want to do is challenge him and maybe have him do it again. He was a lot more careful with him there. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Nope. And a fastball just a bit up. Runners on first with one down. And there he goes towards second. And a hard sinker there. Chopped foul at home plate. Now Cabrera awaits the 2 2. Swing and a liner. And he'll take it to the bag for the out. And there's your unassisted double play. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Three innings complete. It's the Mets one. And the A's nothing. Here's Rajay Davis now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Hit to short. Right to Cabrera. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Digging in for his second at bat, Mark Canna, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball, it's 2 and 1. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Granderson on the move. But it's the right fielder that gets there to make the catch. And that's the second out of the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Chris Davis. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 
Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Bruce on the run. But it's the center fielder who gets there. And the inning is over. One, two, three, go the A's. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. He sets a lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. Throw on the first by Rosales gets him, one gone. So one away in the inning, and here's Jay Bruce. Here's the one and one delivery. Takes a good curveball at the knees. Well, that fooled him right there. Clearly, he was not sitting on that curveball. He couldn't pull the trigger. And here's a ball hit in the air. Ploof is there for it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting. Digging in to try it again. Neil Walker. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here it is on three and one. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Ranging back is Davis. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. A solo home run here for Neil Walker. Number 13 for him on the year as the Mets are out in front now two to nothing. Cruise control just needed one more out to get out of the inning, but he came up with a plan. Base is empty. He didn't have to think about shooting one to the opposite field or shortening the swing to move the runners. He just wound up and let her rip. A solo shot as the result. Stepping in now, Lucas Duda. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Not particularly graceful there, and as a result, he'll be slapped with an E4 on the play. Coming to the plate now, David Wright. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. I have no issue wasting a pitch on 0 and 2 to try to get a guy to go fishing, but it has to be somewhat tempting. You're not going to get anyone to swing at a bat at that pitch. In the dirt here, and a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Here we go. This is line to left. And that's in there. Base hit. Man, that's a nice at bat. Found himself down 0-2, and, and he just continues to fight. Fought off pitches, gets a 2-2 count, and gets a base hit. In now, Travis Darno. And that misses two and one. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. Oh, 
working for the punch out and the offering in the dirt but swung on and missed the throw to first is in time and the inning is over Mets do pick up a run on this solo shot we played four it's now two nothing New York. Back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as the Cal Berkeley product Marcus Semyon is the first to bat in the inning. Now the pitch. And this inning starts with a solid base hit. So a good start to the inning for the A's as their leadoff hitter reaches base safely. Had him on the ropes. Two strikes, made a great pitch. It just Trevor didn't work out for him. Luke. Nice piece of hitting. Into the box, Trevor Plouffe, and that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. Well, he loses them there, but that's just the first walk he's given up, along with a couple of hits. So his command has been pretty solid so far. Striding in once again, Adam Rosales. And he's looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out. Well, early in the count, expect him to look for a ball to drive. If he gets two strikes against him, he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up. This game is too close to get greedy. Here's Walker for one. On to first, a double play. Oh, that's a rally killer right there. They were in great shape with two on and nobody out. But the double play is the last thing you want in that situation. Just a runner at third now, but there's two outs. Standing in now, Josh Fegley chopped foul over towards the dugout. Weak rounder back to the mound. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. The A's strand one. They trail things here two to nothing. Digging in, Steven Matz comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And we see some action in the A's bullpen now. It's both the left hander and a righty that start to loosen up. On the ground up the middle. And that is through into center. A base hit and the opposing pitcher gets aboard to kick off the inning. Well he's pitching well to send it back up to the plate Number and three. what does he do. He rewards right. him with the base hit. So this is a great shot. game for him so far. Ready for another shot now. Curtis Granderson. It was a walk in his last trip. The set and the 1 1 pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. He's set and the 2 1 pitch hit sharply on the ground a diving try but he can't haul it in it's through for a base hit. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Two runs five hits and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Now a bunt attempt here. And the throw goes to first, so the sacrifice works that time. Taking in once again, Joannis Cespedes. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And there's ball four now, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force at the plate is in order. The right fielder number 19, Shane. Here comes Bob Melvin Ooh. now out of the Oakland dugout, and he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third, and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Josh Smith is going to take over here in inning number five, so it'll be a bullpen game from here on out. 
Jay Bruce will be the first to meet him here, and he'll do so in an enviable situation indeed. Bases loaded and only one out now. Here's the one and one delivery. Looks at a changeup that catches the corner. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. Davis the catch, tagging is the runner from third. And he'll make it into score. It's a sack fly and an RBI, and it's now a 3 nothing ball game. Obviously, he's hoping for more up there with the bases loaded, but you can't be too upset with the sack fly. Ready for another chance? Neil Walker he comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Well, you can't fall back any further. This team they're playing right now is just too good. They're one of the best teams in the league, and they capitalize on mistakes. You've got to get out of this inning if you want to have a chance to win this game. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Swing and a looper to left. Here comes Davis. And that ends the inning. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. Five innings complete. The Mets lead it three to nothing. Striding in once again, Jake Smolinski. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That has to make you feel really good as a pitcher, right? You're making pitches all around the zone, and then you bring that one inside. You can't do anything with it. What does it do? It just locks you up inside. You have no chance to put the ball in play. Jed Lowry will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number eight, Jed Lowry. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Set to deal on two and two. Hit on the ground toward the left. There to get it is right. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang bang play at first. Here's Rajay Davis now. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. A tough sinker on the inside corner. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more pitch to contact. Kind of. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. A's are gone in order. Still down 3 nothing. Liam Hendricks enters to do the now pitching, pitching in the Oakland. bottom of the sixth. Number 31, Liam Hendricks. Digging in once again, Lucas Duda, third trip to the plate for him here tonight, 0 for 2 at this point. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And a neck high fastball that time. Boy, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. He can't do a whole lot with that, but if it were a little lower, he can and will make you pay big time. Now, that's a big swing. That's what the big fella's supposed to do. Look to go downtown. Let it all fly. He let the dog out right there. I want to see if he calms it down or does it again on this pitch. Ready with another 2-2. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Waiting in the on-deck circle is David Wright. On the ground and right at the shifted infielders. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Third baseman, number five. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. A 
a good action on the two seamer there and it's one and two one out nobody on now a swing and a miss strike three as right is gone for at number two well we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one the bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter these days pitching has become a full staff effort and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far even at a ball and a strike here's the pitch fastball not close and he runs into two balls and a strike the two and one on its way never tempted to swing at that ball down low it's ball three into his motion here comes the three and one a fastball right down the middle for a strike. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Digging in and looking for more. Steven Matz. He's one for two in the ball game. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. A fastball that just misses inside. From the stretch. Three and one now. And I think he wanted to know where that one was. There's two outs in the inning. Three one count to the pitcher. You've got to make him swing the bat right here. You just have to. And a cold strike on the outside corner there. It's full now. Three and two. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Mets leave one. They lead it three to nothing. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. So now it's Mark Canna. He'll start the inning and we're back to the top of the order but they haven't looked too dangerous in this one yet right guys. Well none of them have any hits yet so you're right on the money. They've done a great job of holding these guys down so far. Another opportunity for him here so we'll see if anything changes. Smoke toward third. And the throw to first is in time so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The left fielder number two. Chris. David. Here's Chris Davis now. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Bases are empty, one man out. Ball Misses, ball two. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for out number two. Ready for another chance. Marcus Simeon. Two away in the inning, and then it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep his dominance up. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Line towards center field. And that is in there for a two out base knock. So on a full count pitch, he's able to get on base and keep the inning going. He was starting to settle in. He has retired seven hitters in a row. That base hit right there kind of breaks it up. And now let's see how he's out of the stretch. Hasn't been there for a while. Action in the Mets bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right hander that start to throw. Stepping in now, Trevor Plouffe seared down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Simeon rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he is out on the tag. Curtis Granderson will start things off when we return. It's the Mets three and the A's nothing. Daniel Kaloum gets the call from now the pen to take Oakland. over on the mound and Number start the home seven. Daniel Kaloum. 
Ready for another shot now. Curtis Granderson. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. The 1 1 pitch. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's 2 and 1. Called strike that time, and it's even at 2 and 2. Well, that changeup right there sets up a lot of things. Now the count's 2 and 2. He can come back in with a fastball. It's going to look like it's moving a little bit better. Or he can go back to that changeup. Well, clearly that changeup the pitch before didn't fool him because that fastball right there, he's right on it. He just couldn't put it in play. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And this is swung on and missed by Granderson, and that's the first down of the inning. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. In now as Drubal Cabrera and oh look out up and in and nearly took his head off. Now the pitch. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Davis going back out of here. A solo shot and they add another. A solo shot here to left number 10 for him on the year and the Mets have jumped out to a 4 nothing lead. As a hitter that feels so good the previous pitch ran in on him trying to get him off the plate but the next pitch he mashes it out of here goes to show you can intimidate him. Into the box Joanna Cespedes. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. Ready with the payoff pitch. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. Standing in now, Jay Bruce. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. But the Mets are able to tack on one thanks to the solo homer. We'll march on to the eighth. It's now 4 0 New York. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Adam Rosales. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Right at third, reined in. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now batting, catcher, Josh. Digging Begley. in to try it again, Josh Begley. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Grounder down the line at third, scooped up on the backhand. And the throw is low that time to first. And did he have control of it? Yes, says the first base umpire. And there are two gone. Stepping in, Jake Smolinski. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, that's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Lined foul right over the Mets dugout. Again, he sends it out of play. Now another one-two. 
And he just misses with a curveball. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit if you can spot it. I got to commend him for being a really tough out right now. Not every. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Granderson going back. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. So it's a solo shot to dead center his first home run of the season as they get on the board it's four to one now. Well they're still down but this homer right there might light a fire under the whole team give them a spark to climb back into this thing. We'll see if this gets them going. Joey Wendell will get the call here Pinch as he'll hit for Oakland. the pitcher. Number 52, Joey Wendell. One run, five hits, and one error on the Oakland line score. And now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Again, a one-two. Curveball locks him up. Strike three, and that's the third out. So it may be too little too late, but they're on the board here in the late going. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Mets four and the A's one. Your John Axford is on to pitch out of the bullpen the in the bottom half of Number the eighth. 61. John Axford. Here's Neil Walker, his career line against John Axford, four for 12. He's set and the 2 1 pitch takes a high fastball for a strike. Grounded up the first baseline and a step on first for the out, three unassisted. The first baseman, number 21, Lucas. Duda. Now at the plate, Lucas Duda. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Now some action in that Oakland bullpen as it looks like a lefty started to get it going down there. He's set. Here's the 2-2. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Davis is underneath this one. And there's the second out of the inning. Third baseman, number five. Now at the plate, David Wright. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. Hey. In there and it's even now two and two. Watch it again. Here's the pitch on two and two. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Canna is going to have room as he puts it away right in front of the dugout for the final out of the inning. Mets go down one, two, three, but they lead it four to one. The seven train making its stops just outside City Field as we welcome you back inside for the remainder of baseball on the show. Jerry's Familia comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Once again, Rajay Davis. He'll lead it off against Jerry's Familia, who'll try to close the door in this one. 
Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. Grounded back up the middle. Cabrera towards second. He's got it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you can see right there, he's up near the top in the National League, currently third best. Now batting, Mark Canna. He was a ground out victim last time up. The one and two pitch. The fastball down near the shoe tops. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. The 2 2 one more time. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Chris Davis is on deck. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Cespedes racing back. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. The left fielder number two. Stepping in, Chris, Chris Davis. Davis. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. And a swing and a miss as they definitely had him reaching for that one. And this ball game is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. A 4-1 to one finish in this evening's game. Steven Matz earns his 12th victory in the ball game as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Jerry Spamilia wraps it up for the save, his 28th on the season. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Four runs on six hits. No errors. Three and two. High fly ball to center, and that ball's hit. Upton going back. Back to the wall. Home run. No, he pulled it back. He took it right off the wall. The throw back to first. A double play. Oh, my. Melvin Upton has hit a home run and has now stolen one. Here's the 0-2.